Driven only by the rays of the sun, the solar impulse soared high over the Golden Gate Bridge in preparation for an unprecedented coast-to-coast -coast flight. The revolutionary solar-powered plane is the brainchild of a pair of Swiss aviators and engineers, Bertrand Picard and André Borchberg, who hope their voyage will get people excited, the same way Charles Lindbergh's first flight across the Atlantic did in 1927. Solar Impulse is about inspiring people for clean technologies, for innovation, for pioneering spirits. The aircraft consists of a giant wing covered with 12,000 ultra-thin solar cells, a battery for power storage, and a tiny cockpit with room for just one pilot at a time. Picard and Borschberg will trade off flying the plane in shifts, with stops in four U.S. cities along the way. The airplane is capable to fly non-stop from uh, San Francisco to New York because it demonstrated that it can fly day and night. Uh, but the pilot is the limiting factor, so we cannot rest, we are alone, and we have limited ourselves to leg of maximum duration of 24 hours. Batteries allow the plane to keep flying after sundown. It's also able to conserve power because it's made of carbon fiber material that is extremely lightweight. Solar Impulse has the wingspan of a Boeing 747, but it only weighs about 1,500 kilos, the same as a compact car. It won't be the fastest thing in the sky. The craft's four small 10 horsepower engines give it a maximum speed of 56 kilometers per hour. And that's when the wind is at its back. Stormy weather will be the biggest challenge on the cross-country flight. Maybe with the thunderstorms that we have to predict and anticipate. We'll not fly in this weather situation, but we will have to avoid it and not to be caught. Picard reflected on the myth of Icarus, who flew too close to the sun and fell to earth. Icarus fell down because he was too close to where he was not allowed to go. Fortunately, now we have understood that human beings are allowed to go in the sky and that the sun can be a source of power, not only for our solar airplane, but also for everybody on the ground. And that's a good progress, I think. If all goes well on the trip across America, Solar Impulse will attempt a flight round the world in 2015. Rob Reynolds, Al Jazeera, Mountain View, California.